Hello, my name is Carolyn Ford. I'm from Western University. And the purpose of my visit today to Columbia International College was to share some information about our undergraduate academic programs, our services, scholarships, financial aid, as well as other supports available to international students. High school students should consider Western University because we truly offer the overall best student experience in all of Canada. It's not enough to just have a good classroom experience, a good academic experience. It's important to have quality of life, leadership activities, and uh, activities that will prepare you for a future 40 to 50 year long career. It's Western that can offer everything for a student's academic, personal, extracurricular, and future career success. When I think of the Columbia International College students that I've met over the years, and then the ones that choose to come to Western, the things that come to mind for me is a student who is very confident, hardworking, self-aware, and part of that confidence and self-awareness uh, means that a student is also willing to explore where do they need to ask for assistance, whether it's academic supports, social supports, um, leadership and career supports. I find that Columbia International College students are both very self-aware about what their skills are and willing to reach out for the things that they still need to work on. I certainly want to encourage Columbia International College students to consider Western because I truly believe Western is the logical extension of the total care that CIC students are already receiving here. They will be very, very comfortable at Western, but they also know that they have to work hard for the next steps to their success. Hi everybody, good afternoon. Thank you for spending a Friday afternoon with me, Carolyn Ford from Western University, to learn about your university options. I'm, I'm glad you would like to hear about our programs and then additional information about the application process. So thank you. I, I understand that there are other things you probably want to be doing on a Friday night, but this is the next four years of your life. And this is about 140 to 180,000 of your dollars, dollars Canadian. So this is an important uh, topic to be thinking about at this point in time. This is such a large investment of your time that you probably would like a guarantee of success, wouldn't you? A guarantee that four years after you graduate from Columbia with its total care, that you would graduate from an Ontario university or elsewhere and know that you are guaranteed to walk across the graduation platform with diploma in hand. It'd be nice to have a guarantee, wouldn't it? At Western, we guarantee you the overall best student experience of anywhere in Canada. And by overall best student experience, I mean what happens in the classroom between you and your fellow smart students, the excellent professors that Western has, and we have the second highest number of winners of an award for teaching excellence, the 3M Award for Teaching Excellence. The professors that win that award, we make a point of putting them in the classroom with first-year students. We don't behind we don't hide them behind a door and only let fourth year students work with them. We put them on the front lines with year one students. So you will meet these award winning professors if you choose Western and Western makes you an offer and if you come to campus. Part of that guarantee also Im involves very, very important statistics. All of the Ontario universities agree to count things in a certain way. Things like the admissions average to get into a university and one of its programs. The year one to year two retention ratio. For students who flunk out in year one or who decide not to come back to the university because they ended up not liking it, well, then that means that something's wrong. So if the retention ratio is high from year one to year two, that means that you're happy and that the university is doing something right. Other important numbers involve 
of any group of students who start university, what percentage of them completed a program within six years? Last but not least, you'll want to look at things like, well, what's the employment rate of the graduates of this university at two important points in time, six months later and two years after graduation? This agreement by all Ontario universities to count certain things in the same way is called Common University Data Ontario. And if you were to put that into a search engine on a website and pop that up and select Western and, and the other Ontario universities you might be considering, you will see that in many of those numbers, admissions average, retention ratio, graduation rates, employment rates, Western in any given year is quite often the top one or top two for important numbers like that. I would argue that's as close as a guarantee that you can get with the time and the money that you're investing in university. So let's explore some reasons why Western has those high numbers that it is able to offer to you. So I hope everybody has a purple booklet at this point in time. As you take a look at it, especially the front cover, I hope that you see what I see, which is a beautiful, green, healthy place to be doing your university degree. It really looks like this. It really looks like that. That is not photoshopped. Although it is true that that is in the summer, it will look a little bit different next month. As you know, because you spent time here at Columbia International College. If you are not already signed up for the uh, Sunday the 16th, or what is it, the 15th? I forget, I'm losing my numbers. But the Sunday after this Sunday, I hope you have signed up for the Columbia trip to Western's Fall Preview Day so that you can actually see this for yourself as well as see my current students and my current professors in action. That really is the best way to see this for yourself. This, this purple brochure, I hope, is just a teaser or an appetizer that convinces you to see this in person. At this stage, you might be asking, all right, this sounds lovely, a guarantee of success and of support for me while I'm a student. You probably have a very important question, such as, does Western offer a program you're interested in? So please take a look at page three, because that is the complete list of programs. Take a moment and see if there's something that you're interested in. And if you're not seeing something you're interested in, please raise your hand or ask me a question. Of the group of people we have in the room, are there, is there anybody interested in arts and humanities? What are you interested in? I was interested in um, women's studies. Women's studies. So women's studies is, is a joint enterprise between arts and humanities and social science. A very rigorous and thorough program. You would start by taking a foundation course in women's studies and then continue to specialize after that. You'd also have opportunities to choose languages, psychology, and other things to round out that knowledge. All right, within the group, how many engineers? Anybody interested in engineering? Okay. Do, do you know what kind of engineering you're interested in? I was interested in electrical engineering. Okay, electrical engineering. So I'm looking for 550 new engineers for September 2016. When I find you, I'm going to put you in groups of about 65 to 70, and you're going to do everything together. You're going to take chemistry, physics, calculus, an introduction to all of those engineering sciences. You are going to know those other 65 people very well for the rest of your life. They will be foundation of a strong personal and professional network. Now, notice I said you get to explore all of the kinds of engineering. For you, it would be at the end of year one, 
where you put in the paperwork to say, I loved that and I want to stick with electrical engineering. Or that would be the point in time which you would say, well, that was lovely, but I want to change my mind. I want another kind of engineering or I want to leave engineering altogether. So you would be able to make that choice. But we do require that you learn quite broadly about the engineering options available. All right. What about health sciences? Anybody interested in health sciences? What kind of health science? Pharmacology. All right. So actually with health sciences um, and pharmacology, you actually see pharmacology listed under medical sciences. And so for you, I could tell you what you would be doing every moment of the day if you were in medical sciences and aiming for pharmacology. You would be spending a lot of time in the lab. You would be taking physics, chemistry, biology, math, likely calculus. And you would finally have a fifth credit that could be your pure elective. But so we would know where you are. Your parents would know where you are every moment of the day. Okay. Information and media studies. Pure sciences, social sciences, other medical sciences. Okay, so, pardon? Human resource management. Okay, so somebody has finally raised business. Who else, who else is interested in business? All right, so it sounds like you're already familiar with the idea that at Western, we don't call business business. We call business management and organizational studies. So in terms of what you see here, management and organizational studies is at the bottom right. You too, if you're thinking of management and organizational studies, you're taking a very common first year. There's an introductory course to all of those specialties. You'll be taking a math credit, psychology, sociology, or economics, depending on what type of business you're thinking of specializing in. And then at the end of year one, that's where you're going to make a commitment to the kind of business you would like to be your major. So that is a four-year program, very, very thorough, and is based on evidence-based management. So the whole idea that we really have to learn by what's happened and evidence rather than just speculating what would be a good thing to do. So I hope you see something that you like, that Western has something to offer you. You would be a year in that faculty doing a common program, and at the end of year one, that's when you put in your paperwork to have your major. Right? And because so many of you are interested in business, you've probably heard that we also have our own business school on site. Would that be fair to say? Anybody know its name? Ivy, yes, the Ivy Business School. In any given year, the Ivy Business School is usually one of the top 100 undergraduate business programs in the entire world. It's called the HBA, Honors in Business Administration. I don't have a lot about Ivy in this particular brochure. There are really two important things to know about Ivy. And once again, if you visit us for Fall Preview Day, you would also have a chance to see some demonstrations at Ivy. And those two important things to know are, one is that the format is quite unique. If you're comparing Ivy with other programs for consideration, many of these other programs that you're considering are four years long. A four-year Bachelor of Commerce, a four-year uh, bachelor's in business administration, Ivy is unique in its format. It's a thorough grounding in business by way of the case study method, but its program is only two years long. It's actually what we would call a two plus two program. You spend two years at Western or another university, and if Ivy makes you an offer, you spend two years at Ivy. The combination of two plus two results in the four-year honors in business administration degree. If you're looking to compete for a place in Ivy this year as a grade 12 student, then you have to come to Western to take up that offer. But if you want to go to another university and compete for a place in Ivy during your second year as a university student, you may do that. 
you may compete for a place in Ivy as a year two university student. So two options for going to Ivy. Okay. The second feature that I really want to emphasize about Ivy goes back to the two plus two idea, which is that for your first two years of university, my Ivy professors are desperately hoping that you study something that is not business. And you're probably wondering, why is that? I could be at another university, at another program, studying four full years of business. Why would I want to do two years of non-business followed by two years of business? Won't I end up with less of a business education? No, you will not. Ivy is hoping that, that you will come to them with something that is a non-business background because they believe it will make you a richer business professional. They're looking for people to fill up each cohort class, somebody who studied philosophy, somebody who studied engineering, somebody who studied medical sciences and arts and humanities. And they're in each cohort of about 65 people, they want to bring you together so that when you solve problems as a team, you're coming at the problem from different perspectives. And then, trust me, they are going to train you in business very intensively for those two years. Your time as an Ivy student is so scripted, you're all in the classroom together as a cohort, that it's the professors that rotate in and out. You don't spend time moving from classroom to classroom. The professors rotate in and out. That's how, that's how pressed for time you will be as a business student at Ivy. Now that's all I'll say about Ivy for the moment. Uh, but I'm glad I'm hearing people are finding things that they would be interesting, interested in studying. You're working hard as a grade 12 student. You're setting yourself up for success at university. Western wants to recognize that and award that with scholarships. Let's take a look at the scholarship options at Western by turning to page four. One of the scholarships we're going to consider every single applicant for is our admission scholarship. And that's the colorful chart you see on the right hand side. Think about what your average is right now in your 4U courses. If you apply to Western and we make you an offer, think about what your final average might be when those marks come in to us. If your average is 95% or higher, Western guarantees you the $10,000 level of scholarship. And you will see from the chart the breakdown of the other awards at the other percentages. It gets better than that. I have more scholarships to offer than simply the admissions scholarship. And those are unlimited, by the way. I'm looking for 5,000 new students for next fall. If every single one of those 5,000 students had a 95% average, every single one of them would win the $10,000. So that money does not run out. Going back to the other scholarship that I wanted to mention, if you're the type of student who has a 90% average, and you're also the type of person who is a leader outside of the classroom, student clubs, social clubs, sports clubs, uh, volunteer, religious, or church work of any type, then I have a high value award that you should consider. It's listed right here. It's called the President's Entrance Scholarship. If this is of interest to you, then please put in an application, but be aware that there are materials that you need to prepare. Our website is going to open later this month to receive those materials, and the due date is February 14th. If we select you for interview, you would come back down to campus and have an interview with the scholarship office. If you are one of the winners, and it has not happened for Columbia yet, this is our fourth year running this, I, I am hoping this is the magic year for somebody from Columbia to win the high value $50,000 President's Entrance Award. When it happens, it happens in April, and the university president, President Chakma, 
will call you up on the phone and say, congratulations, I would like to extend my President's Entrance Award to you. In other words, you have this information in hand before you have to respond to Western's offer of admission on the OUAC. So that's kind of nice to know. Yes, question. Does the Western University offer the course? Ah, okay. So the question is about co-op. Yes, Western does co-op. For us, we structure it a little bit differently. It's offered by the faculties, and we'll have a chance to take a quick look at the faculty pages later on. It typically, um, there are some short co-ops that can happen in the summer. There are also some longer co-ops of 8, 12, or 16 months that would take place between your third and fourth years of university. At Western, co-op is voluntary. So if you are on the OUAC and you're looking at the uh, programs that we, that we saw on page three of the brochure, if you're looking at those program listings on the OUAC, you're gonna see it very differently. You're not going to see co-op listed because co-op is voluntary and it's something you see and decide on after you become a Western University student. But we do have co-op to offer, absolutely. Okay, very good question, thank you. I'll say one more word about scholarships and we'll move on to our next topic. The one other thing about scholarships is that I have a lot more of them. I have 1,500 different kinds of scholarships that Western alumni and Western donors have created in the past. Some of these you are going to be automatically considered for, and if you match the criteria, you will receive a letter sometime between May and August from the scholarship office saying, congratulations, you have won uh, the Alfred E. Smith Award for incoming student with the highest level of volunteer work. Just to give an example of the types and specificity of the awards that are available. So we'll automatically be considering you for many of those as well. Mm -hmm. Next, let's talk about the type of support you would receive on campus if you were living in residence with us. As a Columbia student, you already have a significant uh, amount of experience of living in community with other people. At Western, we're going to continue that level of support, but with, but with, with some new ways newer levels of comfort, newer levels of camaraderie, and also, of course, now that you are technically adults, there will be some more freedoms at the university level than there weren't at the secondary level. So I'll ask you to switch over to the next page about the residence life system. Our residence life system is extensive. If we make you an offer of admission, we will extend an offer of residence if you are single with no children those types of things if you accept our offer of residence we guarantee that building and that room is waiting for you when you arrive on campus in late august or early september one example of what our buildings look like is this one right here this building is ontario hall it's about two years old. It holds a thousand <laughs> students. So if you come to Western, you have a one in five chance of living in Ontario Hall. And then if you decide to have a roommate, if you two come to Western and you want to share a room, that would be the kind of room that you would live in in Ontario Hall. Even the halls of residence that are not as new as Ontario, we make a point of updating the facilities on a regular basis. I have one hall of residence that's 50 years old, so we took it offline last year, we gutted the inside, and we remade everything new. Now the outside still has that style, that style of building that might remind you of Harry Potter, but the inside is completely new. That's Delaware Hall, so you have a shot at getting Delaware Hall as well. Now, when I started out, I did talk about the costs and the overall investment that you would be making. This chart in blue breaks down the numbers by academic year in a little bit more detail. 
The one thing I would add to that is the number that you see for tuition does cover more than tuition. In addition to tuition, it is covering your health insurance and also a transit pass for the City of London. So once you're in London and once you're at Western, you don't have to take any more money out of pocket just to get around or to get to downtown London. Speaking of London, let's take a little bit of a look. So I'll ask you to turn to page seven. Here you'll see a downtown picture of the city, a city of about 381,000 people. When Western University is in session, I've got 38,000 students on campus. So that means Western students make, out, make up one out of every 10 people that you see. So London is a student city. You are what keeps us young and vibrant. So we are a very welcoming city to students. And you'll also see from this map in green that Western and the city of London is about, well, about two hours from Toronto. Specifically from Columbia, it's about 90 minutes if there's no traffic. So I'm hoping there's no traffic tonight as I drive back to London. I'm hoping it's exactly 90 minutes. We'll see. I've got my fingers crossed. Now, if I were sitting where you're sitting, one of the things I would want to know is, what do current students think about London? What's the cool stuff to do? What's the not so nice stuff to do? And that's where I would encourage you, when you have some spare moments, Take a look at this website that you see listed in green. It's called Your London Calling. And it's special because students wrote the content for the website. So this is your peers, your Columbia International College peers who are one, two, three years older than you, writing that material saying, this is the fun stuff to do in London when you're not hard at work in your studies. So I encourage you to see that because it's from your peers. It's not from me. All right? So it's, it's authentic peer-to-peer -peer information. Mm -hmm. I don't have too much more in the way of prepared remarks, and then I'll open it up to everybody for what I hope are lots more questions. But now I'm going to ask you to break open the centerfold and imagine yourselves living and working in a place that truly is this beautiful. Imagine yourself there. And for what text is on the page, you'll see some more information about the services that we offer international students. There will be a lot of extracurricular op opportunities, support opportunities, leadership opportunities. And if and when you do need to renew your study permit, we have the International and Exchange Student Center to support you with any questions you may have. Every time I look at this picture, I, I, I personally am happy to be living in and working in such a beautiful place, and I hope that's part of your plans as well. The other thing I, I wonder about every time I look at that picture is, how did we get that picture with no people on it? No, it wasn't Photoshop. Especially when I said I've got 38,000 students on campus. Where are they? You can't see them in this picture. So my personal theory is we took this picture at about 4.59 a.m. on a summer's morning. That's my theory. Mm -hmm. So in the pages that follow, if I can be so bold as to say you have homework to do, please visit the faculty page that is of interest to you. Here's why. The faculty page will give you more information about, OK, what would you study as a year one student? The, the co-op opportunities that this faculty has, what countries, what companies, what industries are those co-op opportunities in? Who are the professors in, their, in this faculty, and, and what are their research specialties? That will be listed on the faculty pages as well. Last but not least, the faculty page will have information about current graduates. Where are they going in terms of what countries what companies and what industries they're working for as well. And in some cases, you will see very specific uh, average salary information as well. 
So please, when you have a chance, it's the faculty page that will have additional information. And that will be true even if you do come to Fall Preview Day, the faculty website will still have lots of additional information that you won't have seen even when you're on my campus getting to know my current students and current professors. Okay. All right, so almost the very last thing. You probably want to know information about what are my prerequisites at grade 12 level? What admissions average should I be aiming for? All of this is available to you. One, booklets in the guidance counselor's office that actually have the chart of all the prereqs, but also you can see this for yourselves online at the admissions website. In terms of the admissions average, the admissions website will, will give you a recommendation, but at the same time, even we are not sure what the admissions average will be. The admissions average for every faculty program will be determined by how many programs you apply to by the January 13th deadline. Once we have the bulk of applications in, we, we literally have a computer program that runs the numbers and tells us what the admitting average should be. So it's all about supply and demand. Now the last thing, I promise. Take a look at the very, very end. This is a map of the Western campus. This is everything. It's all right here. Your classrooms, your labs, your recreation center, your hospital, your police force. It's all here on one campus. The buildings that are in green that you see on this map, those are the halls of residence. When you wake up in the morning and you grab a quick breakfast at the dining hall in your residence and you grab some tea or coffee to go, when you step outside, you are a five to 10 minute walk from your first lab or your first class or working out at the gym, your first activity of the day. And I wasn't kidding when I said it's all here in one place. So for those of you interested in Ivy Business School, that's on the map as well. So as you're looking on the map this way, Western Road is the road that, that, that cuts across this wide portion of the map. Ivy Business School is this uh, square one with the big quad in the middle. That's the new Ivy Business School building. So it's all here in one place, providing you excellent great students, excellent professors, amazing residences and co-curricular and extracurricular activities, it's all one place. This is the place that will give you the best student experience in all of Canada, and this is the place that is the logical extension of Columbia International College's well-deserved reputation for total care. I encourage you to partner with Western because we're the ones that can make you an extensive guarantee for your academic, personal, and career success. So thank you, Columbia, for having me today. I'd like to open it up now to any questions that you may have, and we can answer some as a group, but I'm also happy to answer specific questions one-on-one -on -one after the group session is done. Mm -hmm.